Okay, so now in this new tutorial, we're going to be working on this building. So previously, we set our uh, camera into the right uh, location. So now we're going to be working on this building on the left side of our reference. So what I'd like to do right now is to start with a simple uh, shape. It's gonna be a cube. So shift A, search for mesh cube. So basically this cube has to match the same dimensions of this uh, building. So I'm gonna move it to the side. Also let's enable the snap tool and let's snap it for example. I'm gonna stop over here. Snap like that. I'm, I'm, as you can see, I'm snapping it to the sidewalk. So we can snap it down like that. Hit period on the numpad to zoom. So for the back, I'm gonna select this back face and let's snap it right over there. For the top, select this face, snap it to the top part, all right. For the side, I'm gonna take this one and let's snap it to there. Also for the top, I'm gonna select this uh, top part, hit E and extrude it all the way to the top, nice. For this building over here, yeah, also uh, what we need to do is to uh, insert two edge loops. So scroll the mouse, control R and scroll the mouse just like this. Also, let me enable my screencast keys. So basically, control R in order to insert these edge loops and you can scroll the mouse and also you can do it from here. Increase this number of cuts to two. So scale X and let's take it all the way to the edges like this. Nice. I'm going to check this building outside. And for these uh, back faces, I'm going to just uh, we need to expand our building. As you can see, it's very thin. So let's expand it to something like this. And over here, I would like to select this face and hit E and extrude it, go inside. But also we need to match the same uh, kind of depth that we have over here. So let me snap it over there and grab that face and snap it inside. There we go. So now we have a match. I'm going to check it outside over here and let's work on it. So first thing to do is to, we need to delete some uh, useless uh, faces like these on the bottom. X delete, X delete those faces. Same thing for these. X delete them all right next step to do is to add the bevel modifier as you can see now we're having these uh, horrible uh, sharp edges 90% sharp edges so we need to add that bevel modifier so over here add modifier it's gonna be the bevel also I want you to always make sure that the scale is uh, set to 1 so if it's not you can hit Control A and apply the scale and by doing that the scale values over here are going to be set to the default values okay so now let me increase the segments to 3 and for this one I'm gonna just set it to the health which is 05 all right and right click shade smooth good now we're having our building so the next step to do is to add these garage insets you can see that we have some kind of a pipe on the top and also we have this garage so for that I'm gonna select this middle face HE scale it down a little bit I don't want to be scaling oops yeah let's reverge back so hit E and but scale uh, scale only on the x-axis so S X scale like this and also scale on the z-axis scale Z like this okay so same thing for the for for the bottom over here I'm gonna just delete this face X delete it and select this one and let's snap it right to the bottom all right, after that, I'm going to grab this face and let's extrude it inside. So hit E and go inside like this. After that, I'm going to be uh, creating this kind of a pipe. I think this is a pipe or maybe not. Yeah, I'm not sure about this object, but we need to add it. So shift D, add this, uh, this face over there. And I'm going to scale Y like this to expand it a little bit. Bring it outside, hit E and go up like that. Also over here, uh, let me grab this face take it down like this and same thing for this face move it down this one over here let's make it outside all right so the next step uh, let me select the entire unit hit l to select it and scale x and let's do something like this okay so we created our building so now i'm going to take it back to our to its original place so also go to object set origin origin to geometry and let's put it over here also later on we're going to we're going to be adding the windows on the top but for now, let's just focus on these details first. So let me delete these faces over here. We must keep the sidewalk. So X, delete those faces. And let's take this one. And it has to be snapped right over there. Nice. So I'm going to hit zero. And as you can see on this side over here, we need to expand our building on the left side. So let's do that. So on the tab, 
So Z switch to the wireframe and let's uh, grab uh, HB to box select. Let's grab these, move them to the left side, something like this. Uh, let's check. I think we need to go forward a little bit. You can see that side over here. I believe that over here we're having some kind of a fence. So we're going to be adding that later on, it's just some kind of a pipes. Yeah. Okay, so for now, let's extend this uh, road switch, cover this spot, the missing spot. So Alt, click over here to select everything. And let's snap it right over there. Nice. So now let's check. Pretty much good. Also, I would like to hide everything else. I just want to focus on my building. So I'm going to select my building on uh, my camera and hit Control E. So let me uh, enable my screencast keys. I don't know which, why it doesn't work sometimes. So select the building first and after that shift the camera, Control E, this E over here and hit H so that we can hide everything and just focus on our buildings. Okay, so now let's create our pipes. So on this face over here, simply select shift S, cursor to select it. So basically I'm putting uh, the cursor over here so that we can bring everything, every object that I create to this location. So shift A, I'm going to bring a curve path. This one over here, let me check it. So air Z 90 degree and air X uh, 90 degree so that you can make it vertically. I'm gonna move it to the side just like this and maybe you can scale it down. It has to scale it down and let's take this one over here, easy. Let's go inside just like this, E, Y and E, Y again and let's do this. Also over here I would like to make some uh, random variations like this easy and let's go up easy start making that turn and let's go all the way to the top yeah good after that we can uh, duplicate this one let me first bring these a little bit to the side and after that, just uh, simply duplicate this curve over here and align it with the other pipe that we're having uh, beside our initial pipe. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the pipe align uh, settings over here and I'm going to increase the depth. So from here, let me find the geometry, yes, and let's increase that depth to something like 0.1 meters. I think that's a little bit uh, too much, I think. So let's uh, set it to 0 0.075. Now it looks good. Also make sure to add that small object, so I think that all these pipes are connected to that uh, object. Also over here for these three points, let's bring them outside. And make sure to delete those unwanted faces, that we want gonna be, that one's gonna be visible anyway. And also make sure to not miss these small uh, tiny details like these hooks. So it simply create a cylinder shape with low vertices, something like 16 vertices, and create that initial shape like this. And after that, uh, simply duplicate this hook all over our uh, pipeline. So these tiny details are really important. So this is what makes uh, what's going to make your scene stand out uh, at the end of the render. OK, so let's add the other details. So over here we have in the top, we have in some lab lamps on the top. So let's uh, create them. Select this one, select this top face, put the cursor over there. And let's start with the simple cube. Yeah, I'm going to scale it way down. Move it to the side over here, scale it on the Z axis. Uh, let's put it over here on the middle and scale X and expand it like this. Also over here I would like to expand this one just a little bit, hit E, extrude it, uh, scale on the Y axis, scale a little bit up and let's extrude it up. There we go, nice. So let's add that array modifier, I'm going to increase this one something like this and let's set it to 3, nice. Let's see it from the outside. I believe that we're having uh, we're having another lamp over here, so that we can make it four. So let's set it to four and let's bring this one like this. So now it looks more uh, pleasant. Also over here we need to do the same thing, which is to add that uh, bevel modifier. Also let's make check our scale. The scale as you can see over here we have a messy scale. So hit you can see over here that we're not having some nice bevel even if you try to increase this one, so hit, hit Control A and apply that scale, it's gonna be better. Scoot to Object and Shade Smooth and now we're good to go. 
So on the left side over here, you can see that we have, we're having some extra uh, pipes. So first make sure to duplicate three points from our current pipe. And after that, to reduce the depth of it. And also I want you to make sure that these new pipes are separated so that the depth can work only for the new pipes. After that, add these objects on the top like this one. And after that, I'm going to be selecting those, uh, select those pipes and create those nice curvy, uh, nice shapes or nice turns, nice pipe turns like this. Also make sure that you are, uh, you don't have any clipping in your, in your scene. Yes, avoid any clippings like this one over here. And after that, just uh, expand those lines. Also for this one, make sure that that line is not 100% perfect. So add some variations, add some randomness on those pipes, just to give uh, and make this scene look more realistic. Same thing for, the, uh, for these hooks. Don't forget to add them. So these add uh, that realistic look and make our scene looks uh, more uh, credible. So the idea behind this is to not mess any uh, details uh, in your scene, no matter how small it is. So make sure to include everything, it's gonna be essential if you want to make your scene more pleasing to the eye. So this is the bottom part of our building, so now I'd like to work on the top part. So for the top part, it's gonna be simple. I'm gonna be inserting uh, two edge loops, just like this, and I'm gonna grab this face over here and extrude it inside. So basically over here, we're gonna be adding windows. But before that, what I'd like to do is to uh, enable uh, a new add-on, it's called Archimac. Archimac. Mesh. Not Mac. Archimesh. This one over here, make sure that it's activated so that you can have access to these nice and cool stuff. So go to Mesh, and over here you can see this tab, Archimesh. And I'm gonna bring uh, a rail window. So let's zoom on it. So over here, where is it? Tools. Yeah, there we go. So create. So we can tweak it, we can change its settings. So let's scale it up, for example. I'm gonna scale it to two. So I'm gonna be making the initial shape. 2.5 is good. All right, so let's take this one outside. You can grab it from that point. Maybe scale it up. I think it looks uh, big, a little bit. So let's select, make sure that's to select everything. Shift D, GX. And let's move it to the side. Okay, so there we go. So we created our first building. So let's just uh, make everything visible from here. Good. Hit zero and let's see. Pretty much good. Also over here I would like to add this uh, sign over here. You can see it. So I'm going to just duplicate or create a simple cube. Uh, scale it down. Uh, scale it until it fits uh, that uh, sign or that object in our scene. Just like this. After that let's make some uh, nice insets. And then let's duplicate that uh, handle. Put it over there. And also make sure to add the bevel modifier to it so that we can have those nice uh, edges. Because over here we're going to be having some light reflection. A lot of light reflection is going, is going to be over there. So make sure to add that uh, bevel in to all those edges. Okay, so basically that's it. This is the process of creating our first and main building in our scene. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. So I'm going to see you in the next coming tutorials. See you soon.